I think we're Gucci. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Raven. Hi. Who was on season, you were on season. A long time ago. Season uh, 52. <laughs> what were you about to say? You were like five? 21. 21, okay. Season 21 of The Bachelor and then also went on Paradise, found your person. Yes. They're now happily married. They're so cute. And we thought it'd be super fun to do like a taste test. So as you can see the Chick-fil-A in the background, we ordered a bunch of stuff that we've like never tried on the menu before. And then also like our go-to favorites. Have you had the lemon kale Caesar? Uh, that is one thing I have not had. I heard it was really good. Okay, let's definitely do a spicy Southwest. Let's do the market. The, the market stuff, okay. Beautiful. Let's see what entrees we're, we're feeling. My go-to is always an eight count chicken nugget meal. Yeah. So gonna add that. I have not tried their um, grilled chicken club or the spicy deluxe. Neither have I, neither one. Oh, okay, well then we're definitely adding those. It's a regular deluxe. Regular yeah. deluxe, okay, beautiful. Now we gotta get our sides. Yes. Have and not tried this. Oh, oh. And then gotta get us two orders of fries because that's just like. Have roll. you tried their waffle potato chips? No. <gasps> what? <laughs> their waffle potato chips are so good. Okay. Should we get a shake? Yeah, I've never had a shake from Chick-fil-A. <gasps> You're lying. What? I'm a chocolate girl. Chocolate, and then we'll also do a cookies and cream because we can. <laughs> oh, I also haven't tried their frosted lemonade. Yeah, that. yeah. So, ready to go. Perfect. Look at all of this food. We're ready, we're excited. We have, we're not really strangers. We have the breakup edition. We have the relationship expansion pack. And we have the self-reflection edition. And let's start with the relationship. Yeah, pack. yeah, let's Should start with that. the relationship pack? We sat in the car for like an hour and a half and she just like encouraged me with all my relationship problems. So, yeah. Raven's got the wisdom. Oh, maybe because I've been through it, girl. I've been through it. Been, you've been through it, you know, you just got a lot more advice to inside. give and you insight and experience and hindsight is 2020. Okay, should we start with the salad or should we start with our um, go-to's first? Well, I started with the fries. Okay, we'll start with the fries, but you no, have to fine. also try the chips too. We're gonna save our salads for last. <laughs> I almost feel like by the time we get to our salad, we're like not gonna be hungry. Yeah. So that's pretty much why I want to not do the salad <laughs> first. I'm gonna start with this one, the spicy deluxe. Okay. That sounds so good. What was the first thing you noticed about me? First thing I noticed about you? Yeah. Oh, that's a great question. Right? Probably, this sounds so conceited. <laughs> this sounds so conceited. But that you have long, beautiful hair. And I love long hair, obviously. I have long hair. <laughs> and people were comparing us a lot in the beginning. I noticed that. When your composite picture came out. Mm. And so I was like, immediately already liked you because people were saying that. <laughs> so, yeah, you're like, we look alike, so I like her. Yeah. A lot of people on the show too was like, you look so much like Raven. I, I think it's the long hair, you know? And I guess- it's we, the locks. We can have a little bit of like the same demeanor a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we kind of have like the same perspective in a lot of things too. Yes, yep, agreed. Watching you, I just thought you were so poised and like you knew what you wanted and you weren't gonna back down. I really love that, respected that. <laughs> and then meeting you in person for the first time, your eyes are just so striking. <gasps> Thanks. Like not to make it super physical, but your eyes are just like. Dude, this is so good. Here you go. It says, finish this sentence. Thank you for accepting. My okay, let's, <laughs> let's make this like juicier though. Let's say mm, you're okay. talking to your future soulmate. What would you say to him? Thank you for accepting what about you? Mm. Oh, I, I already know immediately. I would say thank you for accepting how strong-willed and stubborn and confident that I am because I think that that can be like really intimidating to some people. Yes. Some guys are like, I don't know what to do with that. It either like intimidates someone or it inspires someone. Yes. And it like makes a guy like want to be like, oh, I want to leave this girl. Like that's so cool. I feel like that's so going to happen for you. Mm -hmm. um, this is really good by the way. Oh. Have I helped you change your mind about anything? Yes. <laughs> I knew immediately what it was, and I was like, I don't know if you can say it 
it all out. I just poured my guts out to you. She really opened up to me about something and yes. I gave her advice. And she told, and it was kind of what I said to you today. She was like, you already know what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And I did it. And she did now it. You, and you now, now you know how to do it. Now I gotta do it. What is your perfect date night? If you mm. could do anything, what's your perfect date night? I would say something outdoors. Like I love an activity also paired with like a good dinner. Me too. Go mini golf or go yes. like do something fun like that. But I would say like perfect date would probably be, we go to the beach, we get on a boat and we're just like cruising. We're having amazing conversation. We're singing amazing food. And it's just like good, like company. good vibes all around. And then like we're out there till sunset. We come back, we dock the boat and it's like stargazing outside. And we're just like laying on the boat, like stargazing. Do you kiss on the first date? No. Okay, so it's just like a little preview of what a romantic I, yeah. little kiss could be. I just think there's something so special about leaving somebody wanting more. And the exactly. first one is like, oh my gosh, that was amazing, yeah. you know? Yeah. I think you read the room, but like, I don't like it. Well, I dated a guy, did not kiss him for six months. What? And Maddie, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, why won't he kiss me? And then it was New Year's Eve, and I was like, oh my gosh. And he waited till New Year's Eve. Oh my gosh. It wasn't like the most romantic It was thing. so, yeah, it was romantic. But uh, Adam and I did not wait to have our first kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have another one. This is an amazing question for you. Oh. What goal would you feel best for you to accomplish this year? And how can I support you as a friend in that? Oh. I love that question. That is an awesome question. I would say the greatest way that you could just like champion me is just like checking in every now and then. Us having like days like this where it's like fun, yeah. but also like we're challenging each other. And just like the constant prayer. But I, I think like for me, I just really struggle with like being vulnerable and opening up. Like I'm so bad at that. And I just have like major trust issues. <sighs> yeah, no, I understand. I'm so used to being like that person. That, that people, I that people to. go to. Yes. So I feel like that's always been my role. And I feel like the, over the past like few years, the Lord has just like really blessed me with some amazing people. And it's Sorry. like. <laughs> okay, I gotta get your response on the chips. Okay. <laughs> this okay, is like, like with, with like a sandwich or like, you know what? No, like, no, no, no. This slaps. is this slaps, but. It's like not what I expected. Really? It's kind of like thicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, but it's, it's thicker. It's, yeah, it's good. And it's like waffle shaped, mm -hmm. like the. So you literally fries. feel like you're eating like a dry Chick fil A waffle fry. No, I like that. Mm -hmm. They're really good. For me, I've learned not like to crave necessarily like alone time so much as to crave like rest. Yeah. And like rest can be done in like, yes, like value the private and alone moments, like especially with the Lord. But rest can be accomplished like in good community yes. and like in time where you're going to church together, you're worshiping together, or you're just Being having refuel. Yes. When you confide in the people, just how you were saying, it feels like a weakness that you're confiding yeah. in people oh, because yeah. it takes the burden off of you a little bit when you tell others. Because when you were telling me about your burden, I'm like, girl, you're it's not a burden. <laughs> you're not in a burden. You're in a growing season. This is beautiful. Yeah. This is yeah. amazing. Like you're on the right track. Right. Like you're you're so good. So like, and it took you back. It took you back oh. to like when you were in those moments too. Yeah. Of like, so I was opening up to her about just like relationships, which is kind of what we're talking about right now. But yeah. just relationships and how hard it is sometimes. And this is what she was saying to me because she remembers like being here. But like when your heart is ready to like be a wife, but you're still like in a season of like growing and like growing in contentment and singleness. And so it's like kind of that wrestle and struggle where I'm like, no, I'm exactly where I know I'm supposed to be and I'm content in that. But I'm also like, wrestling. Wrestling. like where is he? Like yes. I'm ready for my person, you know? And I'm like, man, you know, just I'm not ready or like my heart's not there or whatever it is, you know? And so it's just like hard to know like when is the right time? And I say this to so many people. This is like one of my favorite quotes ever. It says, people come into your life for a season, a reason, or a lifetime. Mm. And that is so true. Mm. And you can, and it's harder to see what person fits in those categories until you get some time under your belt. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, I totally see. This person was here to teach me this right. for a season. Or this person was in my That's life so true. This for a reason. Yeah. And then you meet your lifetime person, and it was all to prepare you mm. for your lifetime. Anyway. No, I love that. You can't take it as like, 
rejection or as like necessarily like, oh, this closed door is such a bad thing, but like seeing it as like, this is redirection for God's best. And rejection is God's protection. And then I want to encourage you too, when you get into your lifetime relationship with your person, just because you get in a relationship or you get into a marriage, don't stop preaching to the singles mm. because they need to hear that. Totally. They need to see you. That's so it. true. And like showing that like the beauty of waiting well oh. and like waiting for the right person. Waiting isn't inactive and it's not like you're sitting on the sidelines and just letting life pass you by. Mm -hmm. When you're single, you also have to think, especially if you're single and you have the heart to be a wife or a mother, you need to think this is the only time in my life moving forward that I get to be selfish. That's so true. I think about that all the time. I'm like, that's where I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready. Enjoying I'm the like, bed. I know, I'm like laying in bed and I'm like sprawled out. I'm like taking Enjoy my bath and there's no noise. And I'm like, this is amazing. Yes, and and you'll you'll look back and you'll kind of romanticize the yeah. singleness. Yeah. But it's just, that's so you're true. like, oh man, that was such a beautiful time in my life. Even though I didn't really, Take it for even though you were like so like ready for the next season. No, that's yeah, so true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have to try. Yeah, I haven't try tried the mac and cheese, cheese from Chick-fil-A yet. Pretty good. Okay, you don't like it. No, I'm not. It's pretty good. It's not like my favorite mac and cheese ever. You, I don't know. Maybe I would have liked it if it was like right out of the oven. They brought it to me yeah. a little I mean, bit better. I make the best. You make good mac and cheese? The Are best. you like a really good cook? Or do you cook for your mom? Mm, I'm a southern cook. So That's how I do. I'm, I'm like, I can make good. some chicken, um, some green beans. <laughs> yes. I'm like, I even know how to make beignets. Have you ever tried beignets? Yes. Oh my gosh, I can make some good beignets. I've never made one, but oh my gosh, that sounds great. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I also have not tried the grilled chicken club. Oh, oh great. Yeah, well you try that. I'm gonna try the regular schmegular deluxe. Okay. Good. Not bad. But this is not my favorite thing. Like, if I, I'm just not gonna come to Chick Fil A and ask for a grilled chicken sandwich. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. No. It just doesn't feel like I'm having Chick Fil A. Um, okay, this is good. I need you to try the Polynesian. She's never had Polynesian sauce. I want you to try it with one of your nuggets. Oh. Yeah, girl, get that thickness. Oh. That's a lot. I should, I should have, I should have, I should have just dabbled it in there. I'm curious to see what you think. Dun, dun, dun. No, it's interesting. Like you got, you gotta like let it marinate a little bit. <laughs> I don't you know. It. Is it like tastes like kind of like an Asian sauce almost? Yeah. Well, it's Polynesian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat Asian food. Okay. Ever. Well, this probably is not for you then. Okay. Now let's move on. Should we do the self reflection ones? Yeah. Sure. What am I wearing when I have the best time? And what do I, and what would I always regret wearing? I think you have a great time when you are, I don't know, I see you in like a little sundress sneaker moment. Okay. Fair. And then when you're having a terrible time is like when you're wearing really tight skinny jeans and really high heels and you're wearing <laughs> off the shoulder oh. and it's just like uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah. Did you see the um, episode on The Bachelor when we had been standing there for so long that they caught me at the very end, like during the rose ceremony, sitting on the ground with my feet out? I was so over the heels. Like yeah. I was like, and I couldn't take them off. So I was like, I'm just gonna sit down. I just feel like you're gonna be wearing like a sundress and sneakers when you have that like blown away date. That's true. <laughs> okay. Every time a guy asks me out, I'm not on a sundress and sneakers. I'm gonna be like, Raven, okay, this wasn't it. This if, you're, wasn't it. <laughs> if you're on Instagram and people see you in a sundress and sneakers, they're gonna be like. But I also have a lot, I have a lot of sundresses. I love, I love it. And you have like a lot of sneakers. And I have a lot of sneakers. Okay, good answers. What is this one? Oh, this is the Southwest salad. Yeah, I didn't put dressing on that side, so you should be okay. Oh. It's good, right? Mm hmm. Now we're gonna dive into our milkshakes. Do you need help? Girl, I see the Ben and Jerry's in. I know. I can't get it out. <laughs> no, this tastes like vanilla. It must be like they must have put some vanilla in the. Oh. Yeah, this isn't a good picture of what it would be like to just order a milkshake at Chick-fil-A. Is it good? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love chocolate milkshakes. Mm. Okay, what's become more important to you recently than ever before? Mmm. 
the thing that's become most important to me recently, like over the last like year, I mean, I've always valued this, but now to like a whole different level of just like really valuing like my private and alone time. Yes. Cause I feel like that is who you're gonna be when like everyone's around. And so it's so important to like know who you are when it is just like you and the Lord and like just you by yourself and like knowing yourself well, knowing your relationship with God well. Yes. It's very easy to like burn out and like feel like, oh my gosh, I have nothing left to give. And I feel like those like private alone moments with the Lord are what like refuels me and like gives me what I need to be able to do what he's called me to do. Yes. And then just like the importance of like life giving community, the importance of having like really awesome people around you and like how much so of a difference. Yes. Refuel you. Yeah. Cause that makes such a difference for me. Like I have to be around people like just to feel inspired and challenged and to be pushed and all of that. And it's something I've just continued to pray for is just like, Lord, like help me find that life giving community and put me in the environments where I'm going to find those kinds of people. Also know when the spotlight's on you and you are alone or just say, if it was all taken away tomorrow, mm -hmm. how would you feel? Mm -hmm. And you're just alone Who by would you yourself. Be? At the end of the day, if all that's gone, what do you have? You exactly. Know? Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Cheers this milkshake, milkshake is good. Milkshake thing is a okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's something mean that was said to me in my childhood that I carry to this day? What would I say to my younger self now? Mm. I mean, just being a girl in general is really hard because I feel like you just deal with so much like pettiness and jealousy and insecurity, especially in high school. When you're in that season, you're really trying to figure out like who you are. Little do we know it'll be another 20 years before Until you actually <laughs> figure it out. I'm like, exactly. I think the, the worst things people have said to me was when I was on the bottom show. Yeah, absolutely. And like, people are just so rude for absolutely no reason who like don't yeah. know me at all. And like, who would just DM me really mean stuff or comment on my pictures really mean stuff. And that was really hard for me because I felt so misunderstood. Like I was like, I just want to explain myself. I just want to show them like who I really am. Like I'm like, I'm a nice person. Like I'm not, I'm not in this for like fame and popularity yeah. and money. Like I don't, I don't care about any of that stuff. Like I just want to make a difference. Like I just want to love yeah. people, you know? And so it was just like really hard feeling misunderstood and then getting cheated on. Like I got cheated on with like the first guy I ever really liked. And I think that's what caused all my trust issues. Same. It's really hard, so hard not to bring your baggage from past oh. relationships into your new relationships. It's so hard. What are three things that you can appreciate about your single years? Number one, being so selfish and taking advantage of being selfish. So if I wanted to go on a trip, I went on a trip. If I wanted to sit in my bed and on my lock comforter and eat Cheetos and put <laughs> my hands on my bedspread and throw it in the wash in the next morning. I could do that. Yeah. I could do I could be so selfish and do whatever I want. So that that number one. And so much freedom. Yeah, freedom and aloneness. Yes, yes. And doing doing as you please, it just goes to both of those. Yeah. Yeah. What validation do you seek from your partner? Hmm. For me, what I seek from Adam, my validation, is that I'm loving him well. Mm. Because he is so strong and so strong-minded. When you ask him a question, he has an answer. And me, I like really muddle over it. He's so strong. And I want to know that I'm loving him well by one, respecting him and how strong he is but also challenging him yeah. when I need to, not being a pushover. Right. Just going along with loving him is that when he comes to me, that he feels safe. Mm -hmm. Like when he comes home at night and he's struggling with something that he feels like I, I give him the strength to continue yeah. on. What about you? I basically, I just feel like if they have just like a really strong relationship with the Lord and they are very sure of themselves and they're confident in themselves, then I feel like the rest kind of takes care of itself. Yeah. And like, of course I want someone who's gonna like listen and challenge me and be there and like the acts of service and things like that. But more than anything, I just really feel like if those two things are in line and like we're attracted to each other and we have fun together and we trust each other, whatever, then I really feel like the rest kind of just like takes care yes. of itself. Yes. 
What would be like the one thing that you wish you could have like told yourself before being married? I think I did everything I was supposed to. Really? Yeah. Like we yeah. literally did. You everything. hit everything. You communicated about everything. We did everything that I thought was fair, that he thought was fair, and just trying to get us on the best path yeah. to where we want to go. And we both have the same common core values, and we both want to end up at the same finish line. Mm -hmm. But relationships are hard, yeah. and to try to like get ahead of that was so important to us. <laughs> wow, well, okay, we tried everything. A Chick Fil A, well, not everything, but pretty much everything. Yeah. And you have a favorite? The chocolate milkshake really did it for me. <laughs> okay, the chocolate milkshake was your favorite. I would say the spicy deluxe is still my favorite. I said that the whole time, but it's yeah, that really was hard. Yeah, it was hard to beat that. Um, we're full. We are happy. Yeah. We had some good conversation. We got deep. We fed our tummies and got closer and yeah. just had a good time so, so thank you guys so much for tuning into this video we had so much fun yes. be sure to like and subscribe for more videos we've already come up with like what we <laughs> want to do next so we're like you have to stay tuned we're very excited we love you guys so much so thank you for watching this and more videos to come love you Bye. oh hi oh thank you so much beautiful <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But yes. Yes. I think <laughs> he's burped. <laughs> Chick-fil-A is already getting to me. No, it's the coat. The it's coat the is coat. getting to me. Can you make sure? That's my hubby. Hold on. Speaking okay. of. <laughs> hey. Oh, snap. Okay, well, we're still filming, but yeah, I can meet you there. Oh, we can wrap up. We'll wrap up. We'll wrap up right now. Fry to go. <laughs>